American Revolution wasn't the only time Americans were forced to operate in secret. In the 1800s, a massive network of abolitionists secretly transported southern slaves to freedom. With thousands of lives and the fate of a nation at stake, there was only one place to go, underground. And this small town was center stage for America's newest fight for freedom. The Underground Railroad made an important stop here en route to Canada. While the Underground was just a figurative name for many networks established to carry slaves to freedom in the North, here it actually went underground. And today, these houses in Concord still sit directly on top of links to this secret past. Few people know that the Freemasons played a major but hidden part in the fight against slavery. In fact, Mason Benjamin Franklin was a leading abolitionist. Here in Concord, Massachusetts, I was about to see an eerie reminder of America's darker days, unearthed accidentally during the renovation of this home. Hey, John. Hi. John Shatinoff knows Concord like the back of his hand. He's a local resident who's been exploring this small town's underground for years. In 1922, when some restoration work was done on this building, they had removed a section of wall and a section uh, to get to a chimney, and they found this room that was hidden. And research revealed that it was, in fact, uh, used on the Underground Railroad. Well, let's take a look, huh? Okay. The building is now an art gallery. But few realize that hidden behind the fireplace is a secret room where hundreds of slaves would have stayed on their way to freedom. Amazingly, this room concealed within the walls of this former home is only three foot by six foot and doesn't have much headroom. There are no windows and it's cold. In this little space, they would have come up and stayed for, uh, for the evening or whatever uh, before they were moved on to the next station in the railroad. Typically what would happen in the middle of the night, perhaps someone would uh, come along with a wagon, uh, pick up who's ever being hidden here, and they would move west toward West Fitchburg where uh, they would bring them to a train that would head north to Canada. The fact that this secret space was uncovered at all is incredible, but it's those who met in the house that have opened up a Pandora's box. This, this beam up here has these designs. What's, what's going on with that? This beam was uncovered during restoration work up on the third floor. The designs on here, they suspect, have some connections to the history of uh, the Masons in Concord. The designs on this beam are believed to be the work of the Masons, but exactly what the carvings mean is still a mystery. Does this Mason carved beam prove the Freemasons built this subterranean escape route? We know that in 1802, this house was in fact a meeting place for the Masons, but skeptics warn that the cryptically carved beam could just be coincidental and could have been used to build the room after the Masons left here. But one thing is for sure, the Freemasons, specifically the African-American lodges called the Prince Hall Lodges, were heavily involved in the Underground Railroad. The Prince Hall Lodges would have been ideal stops along a slave's escape to freedom. They had secret hiding spots, but most importantly, they were already a secret society and had the perfect clandestine infrastructure to pull off such a dangerous operation. And just like the Freemasons used symbols to communicate during the revolution, stops along the Underground Railroad actually had a secret system of codes used to help people identify safe houses. If there was a quilt stitched with a house with smoke coming out of its chimney hanging on a clothesline, that meant that house was a safe house. A white ring of bricks around the top of a house's chimney meant the same. And various geometric patterns stitched into displayed quilts helped guide slaves to freedom and into rooms like the one I was standing in. But how did slaves actually get into this hiding place? Some say these hidden rooms were connected by underground tunnel systems. Uh, the access to this room was through a cave that came into the house. Below so our we feet. Have it, it would be below us. And uh, the entrance to that cave is out in the ridge out back. But that's not the half of it. A ridge of caves just a few feet away from these homes dates back to the 17th century. The caves were initially built as separate storage areas for each house. But during the abolitionist era, some speculate that they were in fact connected and used to help the slaves move to their freedom. 
These connections proved to be the perfect hideouts for slaves on the Underground Railroad. Oh my god, look at that. Now, this is wow. the only remaining opening in the ridge that we know of at this time. Wow, it's really a tight space. I'm gonna take a look down there. Wow. It's really, really small. <laughs> You're done. You're probably the first person in there in about 70 years. From this small cave, escaping slaves would crawl through an underground tunnel across the backyard, under the house, and finally to the hidden room by the chimney. There, they might get a meal, or they may not. Racism persisted even among those dedicated to eradicating slavery. Then, after a few hours, it's through the tunnel and out the cave again. But logistics aside, there was a real human aspect that was hard to ignore. There's all of about, I don't know, three feet of space. It is amazing and poignant to think of scared people being brought here in the night and asked to keep quiet or else stashed in here until they can be secreted away to another room where they're also kept quiet and fed until they're moved on it's amazing and dehumanizing but that's how it was done Incredible. the underground railroad carried over 50,000 slaves to their freedom in canada later many former slaves returned home finally citizens in the land of the free few are aware of the role the masons played in this chapter of american history Today, the Freemasons continue their legacy of silence, one that has lasted for centuries. It's hard to calculate just how much the secret society of the Freemasons changed the world we live in. That's just a little interesting note that I stumbled on and wanted to bring to you. Realism ism. History of our people is buried all around this country. Everywhere where we are, there's history. <laughs>